Pop into this 7-Eleven in Niagara Falls, head toward the back of the store, and you'll find fridges full of beer and wine, something you won't see in nearly any of the thousands of other convenience stores in Ontario. It's the first step in demonstrating to citizens and people in Ontario that the world won't end because, you know, finally a convenience store with hot food is actually offering you a cold beverage if you want to sit in the store. 7-Eleven obtained a restaurant liquor license for this location. The beer and wine has to be consumed in store. In downtown Toronto, it's hard to find anyone who's all that keen. Possibly the silliest idea I've heard today or for the week. <laughs> oh, that's so, I have no, I, yeah, I have no idea why they would do that. I can't see anybody wanting to be in the store to drink. Two Ontario 7-Elevens now serve beer and wine. More than 50 other locations have also received the green light. That's nearly every 7-Eleven in the province. We shouldn't be expanding alcohol use until there are better programs to support people. This Toronto City Councillor opposed a license for a 7-Eleven in his ward. Ontario's liquor laws uh, are designed to protect the rights of a business owner who wants to sell alcohol. They are not designed in any way to uh, manage alcohol use in a way where we're reducing the harms. Doug Ford campaigned to become premier on a promise to allow convenience stores to sell beer and wine. Five years later, still hasn't happened. We're going to fulfill that promise. We've expanded it tremendously since we've been in office. In Alberta, some 7-Elevens started selling beer and wine late last year, and in Manitoba, a Winnipeg store is seeking a dining room liquor license. For now, at Ontario 7-Elevens, if you want a beverage, you'll have to get a staff person to unlock the fridge. Mike Crawley, CBC News, Toronto.